Now then there's the last step. You are going to be creating your prototype in a program called Axor RP. Axor RP is one of the most commonly used pieces of software in user experience out in industry to create prototypes. You can create some very powerful interactive prototypes. Keeping in mind these are prototypes. These are not production applications. They are not production websites. They are pro interactive prototypes that are quick and easy. It's again drop and drag. Especially for this assignment it does not actually have to to, to work. You don't have to have a cart. Yes? So what's the difference between iPod and what are those, what's the same thing, right? Like, yeah. You can do a sketch in Axor RP. Um, it tends to be a little more complicated. Um, in iPods, all you're doing is it's just a sketch. In Axor RP, when you put in a drop down menu, when you render your interactive prototype, when you click on it, it drops. And it has, has a, you know, your large, medium, small. So that's the difference. It also doesn't look like a sketch. So it actually looks like an actual interface. Now, Axor RP. There are a couple of ways that you can have access to it. One is it is already installed in all of the labs in computer science. You can also download it. And you can use one of two licenses. If you have a, I think it's a 3.0 or above, if you email them, you will need to show them proof of your GPA, you will get a free license, a free perpetual license. If you don't want to send them such personal information and you don't think you're going to use this program again, conveniently, we have a temporary license. I hope this is the one for this one. If this doesn't work, let me know. It's the wrong version of the document. But what you will do is you will install the program on your own computer. The licensee is extend. The key is this nice long string. You can copy and paste it from the document. That will work until December 15th. After December 15th, it will not work. Uh, yeah. So, here, if you want a permanent, if you want a permanent license, you have a GPA of 3.0, you just contact them. I've had a lot of students do that actually. Now, with, I mean, I am going to show you some things about Axor RP in a minute. With Axor RP, remember that I do not want your RP file. You are going to have to create an, a, a prototype and upload it to a web server. That's really important. Remember, if it's on your hard drive, I can't access it. Sounds obvious, but it happens every semester. If you are working in the labs, also do not save your file on the desktop. Save it to your U drive. Save it on the desktop, you log out. Bye bye file. Bye bye all your work. You'll be very upset. I'll be getting an email from you crying an hour before it's due. So save it in your U drive, save it on a USB drive, but don't save it on the desktop. If you have a computer that you use, I actually recommend that you download it and install it. It will make your life so much easier. So in your Word document that we've talked about so far, you will need to include the link to your prototype that is on a web server so that all I have to do is click on the link and it opens up in my web browser. By the way, if you're not sure if your link works, try it on a different computer. Everyone who has sent me a link to their hard drive has always told me, but I clicked on it and it opened. Of course, it's on your computer. So if you want to be sure, try it on another computer. I know, it sounds really obvious, right? Wait till you're stressed and you're thinking of trying to get it turned in. That's when you make mistakes like this. 
All right, so there are two deliverables. One is the Word document that I already described, and the other is your prototype. I need to be able to see it. I need to be able to touch it and play with it. So any questions so far? All right, so let's go to the AXER website. Did I include a link? Yes, I did. All right, so the AXER website, you have the little super person. Here is where you can download it, of course. They have some great tutorials. Their tutorials are very easy to understand, and they're really short. They're like three to five minutes each. So you click on Learn. And they even have step-by-step -step tutorials. You will definitely want to watch my first prototype. You want to watch it? Sure, OK. they're talking. When the widget's still oh, there we go. Type Here, let me rewind it for you guys. Sorry. Then, <clears throat> all right. This video walks you through creating your first prototype in three simple steps. First, we'll learn how to place and format a widget by creating a blue button. Start by dragging the button-shaped widget from the widgets pane and dropping it on the wireframe. With the widget still selected, type next page to edit the text. Then, click the fill color button in the toolbar and select a blue color from the color fix. For step two, we'll add an interaction. Make sure the button shape widget is still selected, then click the Quick Link option in the Widget Properties pane. In the Link Properties dialog, specify page one, then click the OK button. The final step is to generate your prototype. Click the Prototype button in the toolbar, then click Generate. If you see a dialog asking to create a destination folder, click Yes. And that's it. You've created your first prototype. Click the blue button in your browser window to link to page one. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our forum at actuarcom slash forum. Okay, let me go back here a minute. And browser window to link to page one. So here's one thing that Axer RP has when you actually have generated a prototype. You notice this on the left? That shows you all of your pages. If you noticed, when you started off on the home page when he clicked the button to go to page one, this was highlighted. That helps you navigate things when you are dealing with your prototype. It's very helpful in design. So that's just one very small advantage that Axer has that is one of the reasons why this is used so much to create prototypes. So as you saw, that was really easy, right? So if we scroll back to the interface, use my mouse since it's a little high. So over here, again, are, is, are all of your pieces that can you use on your wireframe. All right, you can change colors, you can change the text, you can make it interactive in your drop downs. You can fill in all of the options in your drop downs. It's really quite easy. I don't have XRP on here, or I would actually show you. But their tutorials are very short, very straightforward, and really, really easy. So don't be intimidated. It actually can be a lot of fun. All right, and so they also show you, if you don't want to watch the video, they have what they show you step by step underneath the tutorials. Right, now, once you are under learn, there's also training. You can just go to, go to videos. You see a list of videos. You just want to see the tutorials shows you a, a lot of different tutorials. So whichever mode you prefer to learn how to use this, that's what you can use. Most students tend to like working off of the video tutorials page. So there's the newbie level, the apprentice level, so on and so forth. 
You can look at basic interactions, interactive prototypes, and like I said, they're all very short and very easy. Now, do you want to watch some more tutorials or do you want to start working on assignment two? Do we have to make it like newbie level or? <laughs> newbie level. No, you must do it master's level. I really want to torture you. Yes? Okay, if you have your own web server, then you can put it on your own web server. Axor RP has, let me see, I don't know if there's a, ah, here it is, AxShare. AxShare, you can create a, an account. It's free where, I guess they didn't show, show it there, where it, when, you, when you render your prototype, when you generate your prototype, you will have an option to, if you've already created an, an account, to actually upload it to AxShare. So it's share.axer.com. That is probably the easiest way because you can do it all in, right in the program. Then it, it will generate a link for you. It will take you to the web page. It will generate a link. You just copy and paste that link into your Word document. But as I said, don't give it a password. I have more problems with people giving it passwords. And then I click on it and they don't send me the password. Or they don't put it in the file. So. Don't give it a password. That's probably the easiest thing to do. If you don't want to do that, you want to put it on your own site, feel free. If you want to put it on your, your U drive, if you do have some, you do have some space that computer science provides you, you can do that. But this is by far the easiest way to do it. Any other questions? So do you want to watch more tutorials or you want to start working on assignment two? Want to start working on assignment two? Okay. All right. So start on your, let me bring assignment two up here so you can see the instructions. Go ahead and start on your paper prototype designs. 